In this video, we're going to take a quick look at rendering underwater effects such as caustics. And for this video, I'm using the pool underscore 01.ma scene. So I'm going to switch to a different camera here. And let's set the render to viewport 2.0. So the scene is fairly simple. I have this pool surface, which is just a cube, the beveled bottom. And I have an area light. And the power is set pretty high. It's about 5,500. And then for the surface here, I have a plane, which I've subdivided a few times, and I've applied a texture deformer to it to create the wave effect. So you could even, you know, this could be animated if you wanted a keyframe the time or something like that. But that's kind of straightforward texture deformer kind of Maya techniques. Uh, and on the surface here, I have a specular material applied. So take a look at the specular material. The index of refraction is 1.33, which is roughly the index of refraction for water. I have zero reflection on it, and I have a bluish color in the transmission, light blue color. And then I'm rendering using the uh, PMC kernel. And PMC kernel is gonna give you your best looking caustic effects. However, it does take a little bit longer to render. You can add a murky effect to the water uh, by adding a medium node to the environment node. So if I go into the render settings here under Octane Render, I'm going to go find the environment and let's click on this arrow to open up the attributes. And you can see down here under medium, I have two settings. I can add a scattering medium uh, by clicking the checkbox here and choosing medium from the create render node window. And you also have control over the medium radius, which is, think about it, is adding or changing the thickness of the medium. So the higher this is, the harder it is for light to actually penetrate the surface and it gets a bit murkier. It'll also get a bit blurrier. If we take a look at the scattering node, it's pretty straightforward. I have a light blue color in the absorption. I have invert absorption on, and then I've just kind of played with the phase and the scattering settings to create kind of the desired murkiness. Of course, one of the most important settings is the scale. So again, increasing this will make the water murkier and harder for light to penetrate. Lowering this will make, uh, make it easier for light to get through the medium. So you can balance the scale with the uh, medium radius setting right here. 